about it all. And thank you for coming on this morning. So, first of all, Nigel, why do you think it was put on the list? Um, well, the, the, the site itself is already on the uh, scheduled uh, at-risk register by Historic England. Uh, and that, that has recently been uh, uh, updated in October. So we're on that already. Uh, the, the, the place itself has got 15 scheduled structures on there, and five of those are listed. So obviously the Victorian Society have recognised the fact that uh, it is an important site that needs saving. I've been talking this morning about how it's had a, a lot more interest recently, uh, and that is the case, isn't it? You've, you've got loads and loads of visitors already, and, and some booked up till Christmas, I understand? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a strange thing, Jack. It's, it's a negative thing to have uh, around your neck, to say, obviously, we're one of the worst ten uh, places in the UK to have a building, but obviously it's, it's been positive because people want to come and see it. And I suppose also it, it's it's a really important place and it deserves to be, um, you know, regenerated as well, so that's probably else, you know, why it's on the list. But So tell us about how popular you've been and how popular you're, you're going to remain into the new year. Uh, this year's been a fantastic year. We, we always have... Uh, Historic England Heritage Open Days in September. Uh, we had 600 people through the door over two weekends uh, in, in September and there probably about 250 people on the waiting list. So what we decided to do is try and open on the first Saturday of every month to see if everybody anybody would be interested. Uh, so we do two tours, 60 people total, and we're now fully booked uh, till Christmas. We're going to have a couple of months off and then restart the, the visits again in March. That's fantastic. And what, what sort of things can people see on these tours? I mean, I know you're fully booked until Christmas, but um, it might give people a bit of a nudge to, to get back in touch with you in the spring. Yeah, what, what's happened? The, the council have been very, very good to us because they've now created a safe route. Uh, so obviously we won't encroach into any, any areas of danger proposed by the buildings. And that area then gives us access to the, uh, the buildings to look at, but we can't access them. So we can have a good look at the site. And But we've got a couple of buildings that we've got. Uh, one's called the Deployment Centre, which used to be part of the canteen, where we do a lot of archiving of the maps. Uh, we've got about probably about 1,500 maps that we've gone through over the past 12 months, and I think we've got about two to 3,000 more maps to try and digitise. So people can have a look at that. Then we've got a, a, a new heritage centre that we've opened up where we're trying to... Uh, display artefacts from the mining uh, history of the site and also we got digitization through the computers uh, that has been supplied by the council as a, a grant that's fantastic and i suppose it's such a it's such an, an important place it's uh what is it one of the most comprehensive examples of a of a deep mine in england and, and are you hoping that the extra attention you're getting will lead to some more funding and, and allow you to do more of this good work Hopefully, yeah. That the funding is a big problem. I mean, we've been getting we're getting visitors from all over the world. I mean, this year we've had Australia, New Zealand, Canada, Holland, America. Uh, we've had the TV companies in. Uh, obviously, Lloyd's TV advert. Uh, five celebrities go barging. Hidden Britain by drone. And obviously, BBC, BBC Midlands came in and did a lovely program called Inside Out, and that was aired in September. That's fantastic, and long may all that attention continue, Nigel. Nigel, thank you so much for coming on this morning and having a natter with me, and I hope it's helped you, maybe give you an idea of something you can do on a weekend, but obviously <laughs> that's back in spring as they're fully booked through till the new year. In about five, ten minutes' time...